Hello, this is Calvin. Once again, I welcome you to this uh, uh, on exam system with the res uh, with the SMS, where you can send SMS to the parent. So let me open the system so that we are able to dig deep into it. So now. Up. It won't take much time. Okay. All right. So now we need to log in. So put your Username, admin, the username, then the password, admin1234. So you can click here to show, or to hide. So therefore, we can log in. Okay. So this is the dashboard of this particular system. So you'll be able to see that uh, we have various buttons here. The section here for adding data, the section here for adding subject putting subject selection then the score sheets here then here we upload uh, images then we have some system settings then of course here we have result analysis section so let me just you know, stretch very quickly so in this particular section you are able to add teacher so you open this form so here already in the system there are five Teachers already added. So, if you want to add a teacher, you simply come to this text box. You type the name of the teacher. Uh, for example, Donald, Donald, uh, Donald F. Then you save. So, teacher added successfully. So, that's how you'll be adding them. You can also edit. So, let me, for example, edit the, this one here. You can edit. You put in the role here. Then you can see Donald. So let me say Donald, Donald uh, Tom. Then you update. So teacher updated successfully. So you can as well delete that teacher. And then you can also delete all the teachers by clicking this one here. Are you sure you want to delete all the teachers? Yes. Who oh, knows? So let me put them there. So, so that's how you'll be managing uh, teachers. Then now we have add stream. So in adding streams, you're able to put in the name of the stream there, like from, uh, from two. <clears throat> from two green, just for example, then you put a class teacher for that stream, maybe Donald Trump. Okay, then you save. So that is how you'll be adding uh, the stream. So you can also edit the stream. So, like uh, the 11th one you just added. So, when you search, you're able to see the details here. So, you can edit by maybe changing the class teacher or something. Uh, you can change the class teacher. Okay. Then, uh, uh, then you then you you update, then you update. So stream update is successful again. You are able to delete that stream altogether, or you can delete all the streams, all the eleven streams that we have added into the system. You can easily dis de delete. Then let us close that. Then there's also uh, we can also add subject teacher. Remember these streams. Uh, we have teachers who are handling different subjects, so we are able to add them. So you select the stream here. The ones we've just added are just here. Okay. So you, you you add a stream, like for example, this one here. Then you select teachers from the drop-down list. So you can see we have various uh, teachers we've added into the system. So you just select, again, it's those subjects. So when you do that, you are simply adding the subject teachers for that particular stream. So let me just demonstrate so that we're able to see that. So you only deal with subjects that you, 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 your school is uh, offering. So not all of them. So let me just say agriculture there. OK, business here. So after selecting those subject teachers, so those various subjects that you have been, uh, been offered in your school, so you're able to save here. So when you click this, already that stream, uh, you already
already added there to serve your teachers for that stream so from 2g serve your teachers had a successful meeting then you click ok so you can add uh, for the next stream okay so let us close that so that's how you'll be adding them then you can also add exam type remember we have different exams in this school uh, taken at different times for example you may have something like mock or test one or exam one so they have different descriptions so let's say we want to add an exam here let's call it uh, joint 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 uh, joint one joint one so that is an exam type for our school so you will be able to add them like that so if you want to uh, edit our joint one here you can uh, change it to whatever you want to change and even put uh, that then you now save the changes then that's how exam is updated so that's how you will be managing them you can delete you can delete all the exam types you've added into the system so we close that then uh, <clears throat> we can also add phone numbers uh, phone numbers will help when it comes to sending SMS to the parents for example for the results for their children or even sending SMS on some general information so now before that we need to we need to actually add the students on the on the score sheets so when it comes to adding students we add them directly on the on the sheets we add them directly on the sheets so until then you will not be able to add the phone numbers because the phone number list will not be available so we must add the students first on the score sheets but let me just open a score sheet like from, from, from one you'll be able that, to see that there are these four students already on the sheet so it means when we go to the phone number list we'll find these students already on that list so we have to add students here first that's when we can add the phone numbers okay so let's go back so now we can add phone numbers let me add some phone numbers to maybe this is uh this for from 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 one this for from one from one because this button you can see leading us from two so this is from one so i can add phone number let me add mine so that's my number okay again is that student mungai mungai so uh, any message sent I'll, I'll be getting those messages in my phone okay any messages send us again send us send again as mungai i'll be getting them in my phone so uh let me also add uh, from two also let me add uh, for this one here uh, j no let me add for yeah j j j center let me also add my phone number there So that student also can get getting the results for that student. So uh, let us go back home. That's just enough for demonstration. Then now we must also select the subjects for our classes because uh, our school may be offering certain subjects that are supposed to be uh, to be uh, examined. We are going to examine students in those subjects so we have to do some selection so for example from one are you sure you wish to select subjects let us say yes if you say no of course uh, it will it will end there but when we say yes there is a form here that's going to be displayed this one here for form one because we are selecting subject for form one again all the classes uh, each class may have some small differences in terms of uh, subjects which are being offered like for example from one can be taking computer which is not being taken in from two or from two can be taking something like uh, uh, metal work which is not taken in from one and so on and so forth so we should select subjects for this classes so let me select subjects for from one so when you select subjects those subjects which you have selected are the ones which will appear on the on the mark sheet so that is very important so let me select 
uh, I deselect home science because we are not taking it. I do deselect computer, French. So I want to remain with the business studies, agriculture, and this one. Then we confirm selection. So it is selecting. So it's, uh, it's actually doing the selection so that on the mark sheet we'll be able to we'll be able to have only those particular subjects that we have selected not any other if you want to select all of them we will be able to select all of them so we only select those subjects which are uh, applicable to that particular class so we validate so we can do so even in form 2 3 and 4 so after selection of subjects we are now uh, set to go to the score sheet so that we are able to enter marks. So I will be using from one and to maybe from four, from one and four, the extremes. The from one and four, we are going to use from one and four just for matters of demonstration. So score sheet from one, you are able to see that uh, already we have some data here, but we can we can add uh, more of the data. We can say one thousand and five. If you just add one student. In form one, uh, in form one blue, form one blue. Here yeah, you select, then uh, name Lilian, Lilian Hena. Okay, then English, getting six. The other one is getting seven, sixty. So you can see as I add, everything is changing. Everything is changing, but when they say that, there will be an X there, meaning that students has missed that particular exam because from once are supposed to take 11 subjects, at least 11, at least 11 KCP marks, we can say to uh, 59. So you can see already a thing is in order. So that's how you'll be entering marks and that's how you'll be uh, adding students to your mark sheet. So after adding students and uh, entering mark there you are able to do that one also across you can do the same thing across so that's how you'll be entering uh, those marks and do the same in form two do the same in form four and even in form uh, and even in form three okay so that's, that's how you'll be selecting service so then after that we should be going straight to result analysis but before that we have these two sections I need to uh, talk about system settings so uh, we need to put in the school details so that those school the school details will be able to appear on the report card and some of the some of the uh, analysis uh, documents so first of all you need to put in your username and then the password Then you log in. So until then, you will not be able to change the school details. So here you can change anything: the address, the name, the email, the phone numbers, the name of the head teacher here. Then you save the changes. Okay. Then we can also set next term fee payable. So the fee for the next term, uh, we will be able to set them here. So amount to be paid next term. Then the name of the BASA, you put the name of the BASA there, okay, for example, then you save the changes. So these ones are very necessary uh, on the report card template. Then you can also set the system password, this one just to change the password for the system. You can change it by putting the username there, new password, then you re-add a new password, then you save those changes, okay. Then you can also set grading system. Remember, we will have the different grading system for all those subject groups. So you select the subject group here. Languages, for example, may have a different grading system, maybe from 0, 0 to 29. That is E. So we only set grade E, range points only. Uh, for example, maths and sciences, we can put 0 to maybe 0 to 19 to be E. So that 20 to 24, D minus, and so on and so forth. So that's where we do the setting, languages, humanities, 
as math and sciences and technicals we set the grading system here so once you say it you will be able to escalate that like the system and it will be able to fetch that one across so after setting the minimum range the minimum and maximum range of uh, e range points then you'll be able to click save then that's how you uh, manage your grading system then you can also exam put exam and term dates we can update that so you put the year you put the current year then you put the current term then you put the exam type it can be exam one it can be exam two it can be beginning of term middle of term end of term mock and so on and so forth so you put the appropriate one there then closing date you put the closing date here in this particular format month day and then year then the same you do here for the opening date month day year then you save the changes okay so those are very necessary for exams and term dates then we have the report card comments also because uh this one will be auto generated then it requires your update you need to update that one regularly as you wish so here we'll have the comments against this grids this uh, overall aggregate grids so you have a grade for that one and then e grade for that one and this other ones so you can put in your comments the way you want them to be you can always update those uh, class teachers comment and principal comment so you can also move to the head teachers comment here so you can also update them the way you want so by default these are the ones which are in the system okay so this is for class teacher and you can move to a teacher for this one here okay to set the grading system the, the, the report card comments okay then after that after that then you need to upload images images we have the students images we have the school logo we have the head teacher sign and class teacher sign so you need to put each one of them so let us put the students uh, images so when you come here for form one you'll be able to see that uh, there are certain students here we have just used in the system but now if you want to upload just go to upload photos then uh, this file explorer or rather this window will pop up then you just go you maneuver to wherever you kept your folder where the photos are so i think mine are just in the desktop folder here so photos so, okay you just uh, maneuver like that okay my photos here so then you select so you see from one photos from two photos from three photos from four. so for from one you will just click that then you make sure you save you save the names you save the names using this admission numbers i should be able to see here so 101 102 103 104 okay then that is what you should do so you control a to select all of them then you click open then they will be uploaded instantly okay so that's how you'll be uploading so you, do, you can do that from two, three, and four. So on the school logo, just the same thing. You come to the school logo, upload, then you upload the school logo. Simply come to this particular one here. So then you can look for the folder here. Then let me change. I want to change. Let me change the school logo. I can put this one, even this one, and this one here then you have close so immediately so you can see it has already changed here it's already changed so that's how you'll be uploading school logo so it has already changed everywhere including the report card okay then you can also upload the school or the head teacher's signature so you use the digital signature you know, to be uploaded so you upload signature then you will take it to that window then look for the folder so i think uh, signatures so i'll put them here then you just select appropriately then after selecting you open then it will upload 
already we have that one the same applies to class teacher uh, signature you do it the same way so that's how you'll be uploading those photos so after that let's move to research analytics so, so we, we have the merit list overall merit list for form one two three four i'm going to use form <coughs> one and form four maybe uh, just for demonstration so for form one overall merit list this is the ready generated overall merit list you can see the positions are in order everything, everything is in order everything is in order so, so you, you just, just need, need to print preview, preview. And when it's printing, when it, you look at the print preview, it's dynamic with the, the data that we have uh, within the merit list. So that is the only section uh, we will print. It cannot print areas where there's no data. Areas where we don't have the data, no need of printing. So it's dynamic. So that is for form one, mark sheet for form one. Then uh, you're able to print that one if you want to print can see it's printing you only collect it from the printer but I'm, not, I'm not actually connected with printer right now so, so let's go back home so, so that's from one the same, same applies to form four so from four and from three they are not supposed to take all the subjects they only select a minimum of seven maximum of nine the system has its own algorithm for grading the form three and four so that we only consider seven for grading okay so you're able to see that already ranking has taking place here these two students are tying because they have got the same points here okay so you're able to print preview that it's also dynamic you can see only printing the section the data so when you print it will print and you will collect it from the printer let's go back home so that is the overall merit list then we have uh, overall, overall grade, grade analysis for form one overall grade analysis here so form one overall grade analysis hmm? so you are able to print preview as well giving us uh, the numbers of grades the number of overall grades and also when you look here you will be given the percentage qualification for the university grades which C plus and above okay so you can print that you can print preview let's move back so we can also check from first well this one here overall mini grade that we can print preview okay so and then we go back to another area there's three merit list here three merit list so this is merit list uh, for streams so for one you'll be able to select streams here so stream selection let me uh, so when you select stream here you'll be able to see that uh, we have generated uh, we have generated the stream merit list for form one blue you can see the stream here from one blue and position here is given in order so we can also select from one red you can see position given in order this is from one red then you can print preview you can print preview that to show how it looks like so you can see again it's dynamic okay so you can also print to collect from the printer printing so that's how you print and you print preview the, and generate the stream merit list so we look at stream merit list for the form 4 as well so all the same just the same thing from 4R from 4 loop so just like that you can see position given there stream given here and then you print preview that dynamic you can see very dynamic so that is how you will be doing that then you can also print can see so let's move back home so that is a stream merit list then we have subject stream grade analysis grid analysis uh, for the subjects so you're able to see here we have various subjects here depending on our selection these are the subjects we selected so now you're able to view the subject grid analysis for form one blue so you simply select the stream here uh, you can select from one red 
you can see uh, eh? black for from one blue so first of all after selecting for from one blue there you refresh the list just to view all the subjects but it will only show when you say generate it will only uh, display the subjects that you you selected the subject that we are taking so is it generating it is generating it to reducing it to the number of subjects that we are taking so you can see that is for from one blue and you can print that you can also select for from one red in red remember this one is for from one so when for from one red you did red you did red like that so you're able to see it's again generating for from one red right so after that we are able to print preview so let's print preview for from one red all right like that so that is how you'll be generating the subject um, grade analysis for the streams of form one. So when you go back home, we can also do that one from four, and like that. So still the same thing. You select grade here from for for example from four from four blue. No, for four blue is the one displayed here. Let me select from one uh, from four red. Then we refresh. So you can see just yes, the same the same manner we uh, we saw in form one is generating for form four so after it has generated for you the clean subject grain analysis you only need to come and do it come and print so it will only display the subjects taken in that class so for example these are the subjects taken in that particular class so then you move back home so you can also look at subject grade analysis this was for stream then this overall the overall subject grade analysis for form one that one you can uh, print preview then you also have the overall grade analysis for other classes including form four can print preview this is just the overall one then you can print as well you can print then you print you collect it from printer okay then we also have stream grade analysis grade analysis as per streams so you will need to select stream here when you select stream this form one so you will be able to uh, generate you can see can see that when we select from one app you can see it has already generated when you select from one from from one blue generate you can see it's generating so you only need to print preview or print that particular analysis so we move back home so you can do that one also in the form four so print preview okay you can actually select which uh, the, the, the class to view maybe from from four blue from four blue then you you generate you can see so that's how you'll be doing it then here the percentage uh, qualification to the university grades then you have subject champions those who should do well in uh, certain subject areas they perform exemplary really well we need to recognize them. So from one subject champions, these are the students who have performed very well, very well in the subject areas indicated. So you can always view expanded mode when you want to view the whole list with the whole subject areas, even those we are not taking, you can click this one. View compact mode will bring you back to this mode we are in. Then you can print preview okay then you can also print just to collect the hard copy from the printer then you can move back home 
So that is form one should start with champions then form four start with champions. Uh, similarly, we can do the same. Campaign preview. Okay. We can view expand expanded mode. Expanded mode will expand everything. Let me show you. We will expand it that you, you will be able to view all subjects. You can see. Compact mode will take it back. So let's go back home. Then we also have uh, top students overall. So we'll be able to generate the top students overall. You can generate top 10, top 5, top 2, depending on the performance. So you just select the top you want, top 3. Just select the top you want, top 4. So depending on the performance of your class. So that is the top students overall. Then you can print preview. Okay. Then you can also print if you want. So we go back home. That one you can do that when you are close up to form four. Okay, the same thing, top three and so on. Then you can print preview. So it's just the same thing, close. So we go back home. So those are the top students. Then you can also look at the graphical representation of the grades. So for example, you can see this the graphical representation of grades for form ones representing the numbers of grades, the overall grades, like A1, B plus 1, B plane 2, C1. Then you can print preview that. And then you can see uh, that is the print preview. Then you can also look at a graphical representation for form 4. Okay, you can print preview. And then, of course, be able to check also other classes. Then we move to another very crucial part of our result analysis. This is the report card. So you are able to go to Form 1. This Form 1 report card subject selection area. So you need to select, first of all, the subjects you want to appear on the report card. Because the report card is a document, very important document. So you need to select the subjects you want to appear. We have 27 subjects offered by NEC. So now, if in, in fact, more, more than 27, around 29. So now you need to select the subject that you want to appear on the report card. So if you want to have all of them, you simply select all of them, you select like that. So you just select all of them. So already had selected. So save time. Let us just to move to subject to, to, to report card area. But before, even before you do the selection, you need to refresh the report card. Then you select. You first of all refresh. Just remove all the selections. Then you put in your fresh uh, selection. But I don't want to do that because you already have selected. I don't want to delete all of them to save us time. So let us just go to generate report card. So this is from one report card, as you were able to see. So let me just go through it. And there we have uh, the titles here. The school type, the school name, the address, the email, phone number, and so on. Then the the, the logo, then the student's uh, image here. Then here we have some details of the student. We have name, admission number, form, stream, KCP, year, term, exam. Okay. Then here we have the performance. You can see the key, the subject, the subject uh, uh, aliases, the code. And the subject names. So here we have the scores, grades, and the rank of the students in that particular subject. So like in this subject, this is the one leading, question one, in this subject, biology. Okay, these are the subject teachers. Then down here we have uh, some small analysis. The students having 670 marks out of 1100, mean average of one in the grade of B, question four out of five. Okay. So then we have graphical representation of subject performances in those subject areas. Then we have the class teacher's comments depending on the performance. We are able to see the class teacher's name here for that stream. This is uh, from one blue. So this is the class teacher for from one blue. The signature for the from one blue class teacher here. This is the comment for the teacher depending on this performance. The head teacher here, the name here. The signature here and the 
comment for the head teacher also given there for depending on this performance so down here this fee analysis we have the term one is closing on this date next term is opening on this date then next term fee given here fee arrears for that student is given here total fee to pay now in this one which is total of this and this then the name of the bursar is given down here to be able to see then here is a space for rubber stamp okay and here you can see this there's some writings here which are failed this exam report card document is completely invalid without school official rubber stamp it has been issued without any alterations whatsoever any alterations will both will invalidate its authenticity okay so there is so this is the document so you're able to uh, print preview you're able to print preview that you can see then you're able to print you can also print it and collect from the printer as you can see it's printing the that report card for that student then you're able to see we can select you can view you can view any student there you can just view you can view whoever we want to view okay so as you view you can see that everything is changing so you can print all the report cards for the students we have in this class so when you bulk print uh, you able to see nice bulk printing the report cards everything else is changing and now you are picking the report card from the printer and very efficiently you just sit down and pick the report cards that's something which is very good so now we printed all the report cards. These students didn't have the photo. That's why the report card is blank at that point. So now you can also view compact mode, meaning you can have the report card displaying all the sub only the subject that you selected for this class. Or, or you can view the expanded mode where you will view all the examinable subjects that we have in Exodus. Go back home. So that's from one report card. You can also view from four report cards. And you're able to see that it's taking us where we should select subjects' names that are supposed to appear on the report card. But let us just go to generate. So this for form four. Again, the same thing. You can see the same thing. So the same things. The same explanations. So let's just go back home. So you're able to bulk print them very easily. So then there is also section for sending SMS. So you will be able to send the SMS on results, the SMS on results for for the students. So you can send the SMS to their parents just to notify them or just to inform them in the performances of their students. So now for you to send the SMS. You must have put the phone numbers that already demonstrated that. So you just go to send SMS. Then this pop up will appear where it's confirming do you want to send results or any other information? So when you say results, then you can stick it where you are supposed to be sending those results, other information, or cancel. So let us send results. So we we'll go to this one here. So I want to send results for Form 1 and Form 4 because I've been demonstrating using the two. So from one, and you can see message sent successfully. I have received the message, we have had that one because I've linked my phone and with my laptop. So when I open that, um, I'm simply opening my phone. You can see uh, the message from Mungai. You remember I put my number again is Mungai. So I've got the results from Mungai, English 100, Israeli 60, Maths 88, Biology 56, uh, Physics 99, Chem 100, History 100, Geography 99, Security 77, Agriculture 89, Business 85, Total 953, Position 1. So you can see the message already is in my phone because I was using my number against that particular student and it successfully sent. So, so that, that is for form one. We can also demonstrate for form four. Form four. Message sent successfully. 
already the phone call we have received uh, a message mm, i don't know whether it puts my number which, which number okay so if you want to send all if you want to send all you just click send all and uh, the messages will be sent to all the students in the school or all the classes okay so let us go back home this section here we also need to check uh, if you want to send apart from the research you may be able to send other information so for example you want to send just a general information requiring maybe parents to come to school and so on so let me send a general information to form one From one open day will be on seven August. Will be on seven August. So let me just send that one. So if you want to send anything to form two, you type the message here. Or from three, you type the message. Or from four, you can type the message there. So I want to send only to form one. So create that message first. So after creating, uh, created and submitted successfully, so you go to send. You now go to send. You go to send. So it will take you to this sheet where you can send to that particular class. So I was sending it to form one. So, so when I click, click form one, one, it should be able to send. Has already arrived and when I open, open my phone, when I open my phone, we will be able to see that it's the message that uh, we are given there. You can see from one open day will be on 7 August. So, this is my phone link. You can see up here phone link. So, everything in my phone, everything happening in my phone, I can view them here on my laptop. Okay, calls, photos, messages, and so on. So now you can see I've received because I put my mobile number against this Mungai. So any message sent and be receiving them on behalf of Mungai. So you can see we are able to send any sort of message. Can, can be for results, can be for I can also be for general information. Okay, so let us go back. So, uh, any other thing that we may have uh, on the on the setting on the setting of uh, on the setting of uh, password, you need to just put the uh, your username, for example, admin, then password new password. Put anything you want. You, you want anything you want then you save those changes it will reset your password very well and that's what you'll be using onwards okay let's be close that one so colleagues i want to thank you very much for staying with me up to the end of this demo tutorial uh, for this particular exam analysis system with the sms service you'll be able to use this one to analyze exam then send sms to the parents and also and any other general information that you may want to send to the parents. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Until next time.